Welcome to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Enders Island. Today is the third Sunday of Advent, and I'm your host, Deacon Francis Valier. Alexio Divina is from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 11, verses 2 through 11. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who see how your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's nativity, enable us, we pray, to attain the joys of so great a salvation and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our gospel passage. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When John the Baptist heard in prison of the works of Christ, he sent his disciples to Jesus with this question. Are you the one who is to come? Or should we look for another? Jesus said to them in reply, Go and tell John what you hear and see. The blind regain their sight. The lame walk. Lepers are cleansed. The deaf hear. The dead are raised. And the poor have the good news proclaimed to them. And blessed is the one who takes no offense at me. As they were going off, Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. What did you go out to the desert to see? A reed swayed by the wind? Then what did you go out to see? Someone dressed in fine clothing? Those who wear fine clothing are in royal palaces. Then why did you go out to see a prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet, this is the one about whom it is written, Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way before you. Amen, I say to you, among those born of women, there has been none greater than John the Baptist. Yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our readings for this third Sunday in Advent, Gaudete Sunday, are all linked to the Gospel. We find ourselves at the midpoint in Jesus' ministry. John the Baptist had already been arrested. He had accused King Herod of doing something immoral, namely marrying his brother's wife while his brother was still living. While in prison, John hears about Jesus and sends some of his disciples with a question. Are you the one who is to come? Or are we to wait for another? Whether John really wanted to know or whether it was really for the benefit of his disciples is not clear. After all, John had already proclaimed Jesus at the River Jordan and said he was not worthy to unloose the thongs of Jesus' sandals. The one who is to come is, of course, the long-awaited Messiah. How does Jesus answer? As so often happens, he does not respond directly to the question, but quotes the prophet Isaiah using the passage which is our first reading for today. Go back and tell John what you hear and see. The blind see again, the lame walk, and the lepers are cleansed. The deaf hear, and the dead are raised to life. And the good news, the gospel, is preached to the poor. 
This exactly describes what Jesus has been doing. It also exactly conforms to what Isaiah said about the time of the Messiah. Jesus, in effect, is saying, yes, I am the one who is to come. I am the Messiah. I am the Christ, the Savior King of Israel, the Alpha and the Omega. While the Gospel speaks of the Messiah already here, we at this very time are, in a sense, still waiting in anticipation. Jesus, of course, is already present and working through his body, the Church. But he still has to come more fully into our own lives. For most of us, the transformation into becoming another Christ takes time. We need the advice of James in the second reading to be patient. As he says, how patiently the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the ground until it has had the autumn rains and the spring rains. John the Baptist is presented by Jesus as one of the greatest persons ever born. John was strong. He was a man of integrity. He was not one of the rich and famous. He was no pop star. All sound and no substance. Yet many people went out to hear John the Baptist, to be challenged by him, to have their lives radically changed by his words. Actually, our Christian vocation is similar to his. We're called to prepare the way for Jesus to come into our own hearts, but also to prepare other people's hearts so that they too may experience the joy of salvation, that healing and wholeness and holiness we all long for and which alone gives real meaning to our lives. Christmas is a time of gifts, both giving and receiving. Let us make sure that among the gifts that we offer to others, some of the Christian joy which we ourselves have reached. After our closing prayer, we read the scripture passage and contemplate its message again. Concentrate on a thought that comes to you either through a verse or even just a, a small word that touches you. And ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you and how you may spiritually grow closer to Him. Let us complete our divine reading now with a closing prayer. And let us pray. Having contemplated your divine word and embraced the sacred truths you teach us, complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy. And graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord Jesus be upon you always and in all ways. And may his generous blessings fill your day with joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, if you enjoy listening to these daily meditations, and if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. And also, pass on the links that you see below onto your friends and relatives as well. God bless you all, and have a great day.